It's time now to head to the WPDE studio. Time for me to catch my breath. Mark Hager, those highlights were off the charts. How about Sockesty making their second appearance as the Sonic Team of the Week? They earned it. Unbelievable, Rich. Uh, this is the biggest football victory in the history of Sockesty High School. A big one-point win over the defending Class 3A state champion Hartsville Red Foxes, and they are really, really excited and chomping at the bit in here. And the Sockesty High cheerleaders and the players have a little special cheer. It's unlike any in the area. Ladies, go. Coach, what it means. Yeah, Coach Doug Hilling joining us here in the uh, end zone studio for the second time. It's rare that we have a team, but you keep winning. You're 12 and 0 now. You come to the end zone studio for a second time this year. 12 and 0. Did you believe that you could get to this point, unblemished, to this point in the season and beat a team like Hartsville tonight? I definitely thought we could, and you know, but the main thing is they think they can, and that's what's important. They believe in what we're doing and uh, believe in each other, and uh, you know, where a team believes in their heart that they can achieve anything, uh, the sky's the limit. We think we know this whole area. We think we know that, oh, the Crestwood Hartsville region is stronger than the Beach region, but that really wasn't true tonight. Myrtle Beach High came up with a big comeback win over Crestwood. You, uh, took down the giant Hartsville tonight. I'm mighty proud of our team. They, they played great tonight, uh, persevered through a lot of adversity tonight. Uh, and, uh, you know, the Beach Boys are pretty tough. Give them credit. They, they can play football. So they can. Well, tell me a little bit more about this team. All we hear about is Hunter Renfro, and he's a good one. He's our defending zoneman champion. Uh, he's the, the best player in the area until further notice, isn't he? Yeah, there's no question. He's a great kid, great player. But I think his toughness this week uh, kind of spread throughout our team. You know, he, he gutted it out in practice this week. He demanded to get out there and get some reps Wednesday just to get out there and get a feel of it and uh, and Thursday. And I think that rubbed off on our team. Our, his toughness led our defense to be tough tonight. And, uh, you know, we persevered. Well, let's go into his toughness a little bit more. Hunter Renfro, we hear about him all the time. He was hurt tonight. Yeah, he had a, he had a bad he had a bad leg, he had a bad wing, and uh, you know, but he didn't show it. You know, he gutted it out and uh, and and was there for his teammates, and uh, you know, gave us an opportunity to win. Your opposing coach Jeff Calabrese, I talked to him earlier in the week, and we were talking about Hunter. And he says, Hunter Renfro at 70% is better than most quarterbacks in America. Well, I'd, I'd agree with that. I, I'd say 50%. You know, he's, he's, uh, you know, he's just a, he's a competitor. You know, he does, he's a refuse to lose type of attitude and whatever he's playing in. And, uh, you know, he's in there in study hall playing chess. And uh, I see him in there competing on the chessboard at, at times. So uh, there's no question. You know, he refuses to lose in anything. We talk about Hunter. We talk about this offense. You grind it up and possession is uh, you know the big thing with you guys not giving the other team the ball defense really won this thing tonight how about the stop on the two-point conversion give Hartsville credit they were going for the win but yeah. you made the big stop our defense kept bending but didn't break you know and they they kept Kept, kept, we're out there on the field way too much, but uh, at the right time, they were able to get a stop right there with the one-and-a-half-yard line uh, for the two-point play, and, and uh, you know, that, the game ball goes to them, no question. This was an instant classic. This is one that they're going to remember for years to come. Who gets the HTC game ball this week? Well, I think Sam McKinney had a great game. He's a free safety, but, uh, you know, he was lined up there about six yards, and uh, I think he had 15 tackles, and he was in on the, the goal line stop there at the end for the two-point play. So, Sam McKinney. Let's Number give him that game ball. <laughs> All right, so you get out to a 21-7 halftime lead, right? Yes, sir. And then here they come. Here comes Hartsville. And then you guys made the key stops at the right time. You play the free safety position. So you had to cheat up a little bit to help stop that option attack they've got. Yes, sir. I was uh, six yards off the ball the entire practice uh, all throughout the week. So I was prepared. They, uh, they told me I was going to have a big game as well as JoJo Richards over here. They said that uh, we'd be the game changers, and uh, it turned out that we were. So, yes, sir. 
Mention some of the other guys on this defense because really when you think Sockisty football, again, we go back to the, you know, oh, yeah, boy, they can really run the ball and score a lot of points and you guys get left out, but not tonight. We're going to sing your praises. So let's hear about some of the other guys on this defense that really stepped up in addition to you with your 15 tackles. Um, definitely uh, Giovanni Rendon and uh, my man Finn Milko. Uh, you know, they uh, – they ran that jet sweep a lot, so without them turning it inside, then I wouldn't have this game ball uh, today, so big shout out to them. All right, now, I'm not trying to give Marlboro County any bulletin board material, but what do you make of that game? They're coming to the beach. they got to come to you. Uh, you know what? They're, uh, they're coming, but uh, we're coming too, and we're going to give it to them. So. All right, you are 12-0, and 0, Coach. And... Coach Hilling, you are new to the area, first year, and you're perfect. You're perfect. Yeah. I, I'm not. It's, it's These guys here are. It's not me. <laughs> Believe me, I'm just steering the ship. And uh, these guys are the workhorses. And uh, when I came here in July, I, I told them the other day, they got a look in their eye that uh, they wanted they wanted to do something special. And uh, I'm just proud to be a very small part of it. Uh, Tim Renfro did a great job of getting this thing rolling last year and getting these kids believing that they can play some. Oh, yeah. He didn't leave the football. cupboard bare, did he? No, he didn't. <laughs> you know, so I'm just a small piece, just proud to be a small part of it. But these kids believe in, in what we're doing and uh, mighty excited mighty proud to be a part of it but you know I know a lot of people think that all you are is one dimensional on offense but I think this Renfro this number seven I think he can throw it around the pitch a little bit you just haven't shown that particular trump card yet <laughs> well we're, we're gonna we're gonna do it when we need it you know and uh, he, he does a good job of did it some tonight it was big tonight uh, a couple times we were able to connect and uh, loosen their defensive secondary up on the run and, and it, it definitely paid off Marlboro County next week. You saw the highlights earlier on our show. Played Hanahan, and you know how good Hanahan is, I know. Oh, yeah. Seven to six. That had to be a slobber knocker. What kind of game are you expecting there? Oh, it'll, it'll be no different tonight. You know, it'll be a physical ball game, I'm sure. It'll, it'll, it'll come down to the wire, and, uh, you know, hopefully uh, we'll be one point on top again next week, but uh, I'm sure it'll be a, it'll be a dog fight, no question. Everybody you play this time of year is going to be good. They're going to be very well coached. They're going to be very athletic. They're going to be very tough. So we we don't expect anything less. I bet your play-by-play -play announcer Alan Smothers up in the booth was going bananas. You know how <laughs> how he gets, right? Oh yeah. Twelve and zero they are. The Sockisty Braves still alive yeah. and going strong. Yeah. 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 Let's go! <laughs> Fantastic. Congratulations to Sockesty on a tremendous victory, and it was great for us to sing the praises of that Sockesty defense when it mattered the most. They made that stop on the two-point conversion, and congratulations to Hartsville. What a magnificent run. 15-0 state champions in 2012, and they had one heck of a season one year later.